I want to do a real quick video on uh, troubleshooting your EVEC solenoid and your fuel pump pressure sensor. I've got two codes on the car and it pointed to both of those and sure enough the EVAC solenoid is bad and the fuel pressure sensor. Uh, when I replaced it, it cleared the code. The pressures were the same on the fuel pressure. Uh, it did vary a little bit on the old one, but the new one is steady as could be. So, uh, But it did have a fuel pressure alarm on it, our code. And uh, they're really easy to replace. I just want to make a real quick video to so show you what to do so you don't waste your money on this thing. Uh, but the fuel pressure one, you really need a, a, a scanner to look at the pressures. So hopefully this will help you. I used the four scan program on my iPhone and came up with the codes P018C, which is fuel pressure sensor problem, and P144C, which is the EVAP system purge flow performance problem. Here's an example of the fuel pressure fluctuating on the old sensor. First, remove this cover. You got two number 10 nuts and two number 8 bolts. Take those out and take the cover off. Go ahead and unplug your connector here. Stick a screwdriver under this green thing. Turn your screwdriver one way and then the other and this green thing will pop off. And you should be able to pull the hose off. Now we're going to plug that back in for right now. And start the car up. It will do a test. So we're going to do a quick test. Put it plugged in. It's sucking on my finger there. I'm going to unplug it. It's still sucking on my finger, so we know the valve is bad. That's one way to test it. The other way to test it is when you, when you have it out of the car, and you can just blow in it with no power on it. And if you could blow through it, then it's bad. Undo this screw here. On this end, just pull these red things back. You can pull that all the way off if you want. Now push the button here, and it pulls off. And get your part, put it in. Snap. Snap that in, push that in. Connector on. And bolt it down. To fix the other trouble code we have uh, of low fuel pressure, we're going to replace this pressure sensor here. So put a towel or a rag or something underneath here to catch all the gas. Push on this connector here and use your thumb and push it back. That'll get that off. 12 millimeter, you can use a 15 16 if you don't have a 24 millimeter. And then uh, unscrew it, but cover it up as you're unscrewing it because there's gonna be fuel coming out. And wear your safety glasses. slowly unscrew it and it'll take some of the pressure off it's still coming out you can hear it coming out I'm gonna let that bleed down now all right that bled down go there's the old one grab your new one it's got an o-ring on it so there's no kind of sealant you need to put on it I don't know what the torque spec is I'm just gonna crank it down okay that's it Hook that back up. It's in a different position, of course. And then we'll start it up and try it. So prime the fuel pump just by pushing your start button without your foot on the gas on the brake or anything like that. And it should prime it up. Do it a few times. Now we're gonna start it up, check for leaks.
cleared the codes, test drove the car, and the codes did not come back. Normally they would come right back after clearing the codes, and this fixed the problem. The fuel pump pressure is steady now. It's not fluctuating like it was before, as you can see in this line graph.